One of the best pieces of advice I was ever given when I started working in the digital media space was let the software do the work. And in this exercise, you're going to be learning how to do precisely that. We're going to let the software create a mask. So to get yourself started, open up the autovector.png file located in your exercise folder. And when it opens, you'll see there's a, an image of uh, some couches on a patio. And if you go to the layers panel, though, there's a little bit, a little bit of a switch up again. There's a background image. And if you turn off the patio image, you can see it's sort of like dark flowers. All this is, is just a rectangle that I created and use the dark flower fill. Now, what we're going to do here is, as I said, let the software do the work. Rather than us apply a mask, we're going to let the software apply it. So to do that, what you do is you select the image. And you can see it's selected in the layer. And you come to your commands, creative, and there's a thing here called Auto Vector Mask. Select it. And when it opens, you will actually see a bunch of choices available to you. And these are automatically applied to the selection. There's a linear mask, which goes from dark to light. There's uh, one that goes from dark at the top and down. So if I select that, you can see you get a different look there. Side to side. The mask goes from side to side, so you got rectangles, but you also got your circular shapes, so you can create vignettes. And then there's even a little squiggly one here, just like that. And once you've decided on the one you want, you just click Apply. So we'll go with the squiggly one, click Apply. And this is where this thing gets just two-way cool. If you take the handles, you can actually adjust the image and make it look pretty funky. Because what you're doing here is you're playing with the vectors in the mask, you're not playing with the image. Now where does this mask come from? Well, you can see that it's waves. And what that is, is right here in the gradient options, they've just chosen the waves option. So it just automatically applied a gradient fill with the wave option to it. Now if I choose the path outline, you see the vector is gone. So we're going to be using grayscale. So there you go. There's how you can use the auto mask feature. And it's really quite simple. You go to commands, as I showed you. It's in creative, auto vector mask. Choose the mask you want. And then select the mask. Adjust the handles to get the look you want. And if you want to change the look, you can also go to the gradient pattern and change the pattern there.